millionaire, Lauren. <laughs> and this, this goes back to my theory that it's always at some cool little store, uh -huh. never the online tickets. No. <laughs> and it has to be like a little hole in the wall spot. Okay, what are we watching here in the First Alert Weather Center? Well, we are looking at another mild and dry day, but our first snow of the new year is on the way. And we'll talk about more snow chances over the weekend and into early next week. Satellite radar is quiet. It's going to stay that way tonight and through tomorrow morning. We'll see a few high clouds off to the west tomorrow morning. And then we'll see if you pass through the Denver area in the evening. Wednesday, pretty mellow outside. Thursday morning, we start to see some snow down in that southwestern part of the state. And that's actually the part of the state that will get hit the hardest from the system moving through. And then we'll continue to see some snow chances and even some pop up towards Denver by late morning, early afternoon on Thursday. We are not expecting much accumulation, less than an inch most likely. And then that snow will continue through Thursday night and into Friday in the southern part of the state. So they'll see some nice accumulation, but the rest of us fairly light snow on the way, but we will certainly cool off quite a bit as well. Southern Colorado, southwestern part of the state from Wednesday at 11 p.m. through Thursday at 11 p.m. You have a winter weather advisory. Some of those San Juans could see anywhere from about five to 10 inches of snow. Areas like Durango, Pagosa Springs could see about three to five inches of snow. 41 in Denver right now after hitting a high of 49 today, 39 in Boulder. Lots of 30s out in the eastern plains, 23 in Frisco. Uh, we see that in Craig as well. 32 over in Telluride and 31 from our weather watcher Paul Kaplan, who lives just northwest of Gunnison. Now tomorrow, about the same as today, 47 in Denver, 46 in Boulder and Greeley, low 40s in the northeast, 50s are close to it in the southeast, high country, 37 in Breckenridge and Aspen, 33 in Steamboat, 36 over in Telluride and across the Front Range tomorrow. We're looking at 46 in uh, Broomfield, 48 in Brighton, 46 in Loveland and Centennial, Parker and Castle Rock, and 46 in Aurora. Now as we zoom on into the rest of Douglas County, uh, 43 in Castle Pines, 48 in Highlands Ranch, and 43 in Franktown and the Pinery. Now let's check in with our Super 7-day forecast. Thursday we see some bigger changes roll in, but now that we're in January, our mornings are a little bit chilly out there. We see temperatures in the single digits in the high country tomorrow morning, 6 in Frisco, 5 in Avon, 1 below as we head into Craig, uh, 4 below in Gunnison, 3 below in Alamosa. So there are some very chilly spots out there. 22 here in Denver tomorrow morning, lots of teens out on the eastern plains. Then Thursday, in terms of potential snow totals, there's not a ton coming our way. This isn't a major system. Looks like the one later this weekend could certainly pack more of a punch for us. But southern Colorado, we'll see a few inches of snow. Once you get down towards the Palmer Divide Monument area, you may pick up an uh, inch or two as we head into Thursday into Friday morning. Here in Denver, less than an inch of accumulation, and that goes up into northwestern Colorado as well. But again, southern Colorado, we'll see the most from that. Friday, 40 degrees, same on Saturday with a few more clouds. And then on Sunday, 35 degrees. We will see chances for some light snow in the afternoon, which will ramp up into Monday. Now we may actually see some uh, accumulating snow here where you have to get the shovel out uh, on Monday uh, and then it's certainly going to cool off temperatures down to the 20s. So it's really going to cool off for uh, Monday. But until then, fairly mild quick shot of snow on Thursday. So enjoy that while it happens. Exactly. Thanks mm -hmm. a lot. Well, students heading back to school after the